Have you ever imagined an aircraft carrier, but instead of sailing through the oceans, it dominates the skies of space? Sounds insane, right? But that's exactly what the U.S. Space Force is doing. Yep, they are creating the very first orbital carrier to defend America's interests in space. And let me tell you, this is no ordinary spaceship. It's a game changer. A single one of these bad boys will be able to protect dozens of satellites simultaneously. And get this, it can deploy them instantly. We're talking about cutting response times from months to just hours. That means if China or Russia tries to mess with our satellites, this baby will be there to save the day. But that's not all. This ship can do so much more. It can also repair, reboost, and replace satellites in orbit. So let's dive in and see how the Space Force is making this incredible vision a reality. First off, this whole project was sparked by Space Works, the Space Force's very own innovation arm based in Seattle. They teamed up with a local startup called Gravitix to develop a satellite servicing spacecraft that could quickly and easily launch from a carrier. You heard that right? Launch from a carrier. Think about it. If a threat is detected, the orbital carrier can quickly move into position and deploy the necessary satellites to counter the threat. No need to wait for hours or even days for a rocket to take off from the ground and reach the affected area. With this speed and agility, the U.S. can respond to threats in real time, making it much harder for adversaries to anticipate and counter U.S. actions. But how does it actually work? Well, let me break it down for you. The beauty of the orbital carrier is its simplicity. It's designed to be a modular platform that can carry multiple small satellites, each equipped with their own unique capabilities. For example, some satellites might be designed to jam enemy communications, while others might be equipped with lasers to dazzle and blind enemy sensors. And yet others might be equipped with cyber capabilities to attack enemy satellites directly. The possibilities are really endless. Once the satellites are deployed, they can operate independently or as a coordinated group, depending on the mission requirements. And here's the best part. The orbital carrier doesn't just deploy the satellites, it can also retrieve them. That means the carrier can bring the satellites back to Earth if they're no longer needed, or they can be kept in orbit until they're required again. This flexibility gives the U.S. a lot of options when it comes to responding to threats. So what kind of threats are we talking about here? Well, let's start with China. We all know that China has been flexing its military might in the South China Sea, but did you know that they're also developing anti-satellite weapons? These weapons can target U.S. satellites, disrupt communications, and blind critical sensors. But with the orbital carrier, the U.S. can quickly deploy countermeasures to neutralize the threat. Russia is another country that poses a serious threat in space. They have a history of reckless behavior in orbit and have recently tested anti-satellite weapons of their own. An orbital carrier would allow the U.S. to respond quickly to any Russian aggression in space. But the benefits of an orbital carrier don't stop there. The U.S. military is increasingly relying on a network of satellites for everything from communications to navigation to intelligence gathering. These satellites are vulnerable to attack, whether it's from a rival nation or a terrorist group. An orbital carrier would provide much needed protection for these vital assets. It would also give the U.S. the ability to quickly repair or replace damaged satellites, ensuring that they remain operational at all times. And let's not forget about space debris. As more and more objects are launched into space, the risk of collisions is growing. An orbital carrier could be equipped with the ability to remove debris from orbit, keeping our skies safer for everyone. Now, you might be wondering why haven't we seen these in action already? Well, the technology is still in development, but the Space Force is working hard to make it a reality. The goal is to have a fully functional orbital carrier by 2025. And once it's deployed, it won't just be sitting around waiting for something to happen. It'll be an active participant in space operations, working alongside other spacecraft to defend our interests. 
So what does the future hold for the orbital carrier? Well, the possibilities are really endless. Some experts believe that these ships could eventually replace traditional aircraft carriers, which are vulnerable to attack on the surface of the water. Others believe that they could be used as a platform for launching new types of weapons, such as laser-based weapons or high-powered microwaves. Some believe that these ships could be used to mine asteroids for resources or even defend against incoming meteorites, while others believe that these ships could be used to transport large amounts of cargo in space, reducing the need for expensive and time-consuming rocket launches. One thing's for sure, though, this technology is a game-changer. It's a bold leap forward for space travel and has the potential to revolutionize the way we use space. Now, I know what you're thinking. Does this mean we're entering a new space race? Will we soon see a fleet of orbital carriers dominating space? Well, maybe. But I like to think that this technology will be used for good, to protect our planet and our interests in space. One thing is for sure, though, this technology is a game changer. It's a bold leap forward for space travel and has the potential to revolutionize the way we use space. But before we go, let's take a minute to appreciate the sheer audacity of this idea. An aircraft carrier in space. Who even thought of this in the first place? But here we are, on the cusp of making it a reality. The folks over at the Space Force deserve a lot of credit for this. They've been working tirelessly to develop this new technology and make it a reality. And it's not easy. Space travel is hard, dangerous, and expensive. But the Space Force has been up to the task. They've made incredible progress, and we're excited to see what the future brings. But what do you think? Are you excited about this new technology? Or do you think it's just too crazy to ever work? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got lots of exciting space content coming up, and you won't want to miss a thing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.